Hello everyone, welcome to WordPress Boffin. This is your host Mizan and today I'm here with another brand new video from my series named WordPress for Absolute Beginner. In this video, you will learn everything that you need to know about WordPress plugins. Uh, things like what is plugin in WordPress, how to use WordPress plugin, how to install, uninstall and customize WordPress plugin settings. So let's begin. If you haven't watched the previous video of this series, then please look at the info card at the top uh, right corner or in the description below. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This video series is sponsored by BD Themes. BD Themes creates exciting plugins for WordPress. Some of their plugins are Element Pack, Element Pack Pro, Ultimate Post Kit, Prime Slider, and so on. Please check out their website for the latest plugins and what they're offering for you guys. Okay, let's start now. What is plugin in WordPress? A WordPress plugin is a piece of software that plugs into your WordPress site. This is a small application help us to extend the feature and functions of a WordPress website. WordPress plugins are made up of PHP code and can include other assets such as images, CSS code and JavaScript. But don't worry if you don't know how to make a plugin. There are plenty of plugins to use from WordPress repository and also from third parties to extend the feature and functionality of your website. Now let's see how to install WordPress plugin and how we can use them. I have a dedicated group for this uh, particular YouTube channel and, channel and also for my website that is uh, facebook.com uh, slash groups slash WP Boffins. You can ask, ask any question on this group. Uh, the community is very helpful and uh, I also answer there uh, with people's query. I try to understand what they are up to and how to solve that problem. So please uh, feel free to join this group and community. Let's go to the lab.wpboffins.com where we are working with uh, our website and learning things about the basics of WordPress. Let's have a look uh, how we can install WordPress plugin. There are several ways we can do that. Uh, we can install from the uh, default WordPress repository or from uh, sites like uh, theme forest theme rally code canyon and uh, uh, bd themes if we are installing a plugin from repository it could be automatic that is you can do it by just uh, clicking one button that is the one click installer uh, but please keep in mind that uh, most of the wordpress uh, repository plugins are uh free version and they are based on freemium model that is they have the light version of their plugin into the wordpress repository and they most of the cases they also have the pro version which actually helps you to grow your website but uh very good and popular plugins light or the free version uh, gives you all the leverage to build a website you just need some extra if you need some extra feature then only uh, you need the pro version so free version is more than enough to start with for paid plugins we have to purchase uh, from third party website and then upload the plugin uh, into wordpress uh, dashboard and uh, then we can use them okay let's install the plugin in both ways to install WordPress plugin, we have to go to the plugins uh, menu option. If we hover over plugins, we'll see there are three options by default. One of them is install plugin and uh, if we hover over plugins, it's the same. And even if we hover over, hover over installed plugins, it's still the same. And there is another one add new and then there is plugin file editors. So. If I go to install plugins, 
then I will see all the installed plugin on my WordPress website at this moment. And uh, in this plugin, in this install plugin uh, dashboard or screen option, there are uh, uh, there are a few options like all plugin. It's it list it lists all the web plugins that are available at this moment on this WordPress site. Active means the activated plugin at this moment. Inactive means the plugin that I have installed but haven't activated yet. Updates available means uh, the plugin that has uh, update from the developer. Auto update disable means the plugin that are uh, not updating automatically. WordPress also helps us to update a plugin automatically and uh, keep up to date with the developer but keep in mind that some plugins might break your site if you automatically update update them yeah. without uh, consulting with the uh, developer or maybe without checking the change log of that plugin so uh, be aware be aware of uh, updating plugin uh, don't just immediately update it uh, just check if it's uh, compatible with your WordPress version or not okay let's install a plugin right at this moment i am going to do that and for doing so i can click on add new or i can click on add new from this menu item totally up to you and totally up to me so i am clicking here just like the theme uh, installing a new theme uh, plugin also offers the similar thing uh, kind of similar thing uh, uh, without the uh, i mean theme has the number how many popular theme at this moment but plugin doesn't have any number uh, be behind this featured popular options so these are the repository plugins and uh, these are the featured um, featured means uh, wordpress uh, team core team featured this plugin and these are very good to use with and popular means the popular plugins recommended means the recommended plugin by uh, wordpress for this particular version of wordpress that you have and favorite means if you are logged into your wordpress you can favorite uh, wordpress.org account you can favorite your plugin and you can check those plugin here uh, so that's the way you can check all the plugins these are the featured plugin if i click on popular then i will see the popular plugin so these are the popular wordpress plugins and there are plenty of plugins popular you can go uh there are recommended plugins and favorite means the favorite one that you have favorited um so it's quite similar like the themes of uh, uh repository on uh, installing theme if you haven't checked the theme video please check that also and uh, on the i card or on maybe in the description uh, let's say that you don't know what plugin you require uh to use then what you can do you can search the plugin using this box there are uh, different way you can do that you can search based on keyword you can search uh, author name like you know a developer and their company and you want to uh, search their plugin or you can search a plugin based on the tags <laughs> uh, so normally we actually search based on keyword uh, i'm going to search elementor elementor and if i search elementor it will automatically show all the elementor based plugin at this moment i have elementor activated and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to install a plugin from the sponsor <laughs> at this moment uh, their plugin is very good by the way So I guess, yeah, this one. So I'm installing the free version. They already have 60,000 active installation. To install a WordPress plugin manually, what we have to do, we have to uh, upload the plugin file that we have got from the WordPress repository or maybe from third party uh, site that are selling or maybe we're uh, having the plugin for free so we need to have the plugin file under a zip file format then we can upload that uh, so the step are same 
in the, at the beginning you have to click on add new then uh, the, uh, instead of searching from this box we have to click on upload then from there we have to select the plugin file from choose file and I'm installing a plugin name uh, auto tagger Amazon so I'm an, uh, after I have selected the file then I'm going to click on install now similar process like the theme one if you haven't watched that video please watch it after that we have to click on activate if we don't click on activate that means that the plugin is installed but not activated on the system so if we click on activate activate then the plugin will be activated so this is the manual way of installing a plugin from the WordPress repository we can download it for example if I go to WordPress repository uh, plug sorry and then I have to what I have to do I have to click on download then I can download the zip file on my computer maybe I am getting the file from a third party uh, or a third person like from my client from my friends or from my developer then I can upload that in this way this is the manual way of how to install a plugin hope that makes sense So I just installed that plugin. So in this way, we can inst we can install a plugin in our WordPress site. And uh, how to deactivate a plugin? Just simply we can click on deactivate. Deactivate. It will be deactivated. If you don't want to uh, use this plugin anymore for the future, you can delete a deactivated plugin by clicking on delete. But if you plan to use a plugin later. And then you just don't have to delete it you just keep it uh, as deactivated so whenever we are installing a plugin uh, it can give a lot of options to you know extend our WordPress website uh, those are the options that are required that's why we have installed the plugin right so those options are actually available in various section of our website like those could be under the settings those could be under the tools or maybe a menu item i have just installed element pack and element pack pro to plugin both of them are actually uh, under this element pack pro so whenever we are installing a plugin it could have such menu option it is known as setting space of the plugins a plugin can have one setting page or multiple settings page at this moment element Pack pro has multiple settings page if i click on this one you will see that it has different um, setting page and if i click on different tabs it's actually the same thing it's actually the same thing so these are settings page so so normally what we can do we can uh, we can change this uh, setting options the way we want to change it and uh, this video is uh, not about a particular plugin that's why I'm not going through with this plugin uh, different plugin will have different type of setting page for example if i go to wp table builder that is another plugin and and this one has different types of settings page so it's totally uh, dependent upon the plugin so i am not uh, going to demonstrate uh, in this video how you can set up this wp table builder or element pack pro or any other third party plugins this video is solely about what is plugin and how you can install and uninstall them and uh, use them please go ahead and explore the wordpress repository or you can search on google about you can search on google about any wp plugin like you want to make a what wordpress job board wordpress job board plugin so you can search in this way and you can see the search result and explore and you can install them and get an idea how different plugin uh, has different sort of settings and how to change options things like that 
as this is the series for the beginners so i think and i am assuming that whoever watching this video you are also a beginner so what you can do at this moment you can explore as many plugin as you can and then check what they are offering and check what types of options are available on their plugin i think af then you will be quite uh, familiar with wordpress plugins ecosystem and you can easily manage any third-party plugins later and in this wordpress boffins channel i am going to bring bring a lot of walkthrough of different plugins and uh, those will be very useful for you guys i will give a to z full walkthrough how to install a plugin how to use them how to make a use case with real life uh, example and website creation so that is coming but for now you need to explore as many plugin as you can and i will give some list on the description of this video those plugins are quite crucial and essential to have whenever you are installing a wordpress website so i'm not mentioning any plugins name at this moment in this video because that list will be updated uh, time to time but though most of them will be free and you can start uh, developing your website with those plugin with different different uh, feature and functionality okay so i hope that you have understood how to what is wordpress plugin and how to use them and um, uh, what is the difference between different types of plugins like free plugins paid plug plugins and what is settings page of plugin where the settings resides things like that in my next video i'll talk about something new for the beginners until next time i hope that uh, you are staying safe and happy take care bye bye